G'day guys, my name's John. Hey guys, Jonathan from Hugh Murray and Son here. Welcome to another episode. It's John from Oz General Store. G'day guys, welcome to uh, the coronavirus uh, edition of Oz General Store. G'day guys, it's John from Oz General Store. Good day everyone, this is Blake the Editor, also known as Blake the Cameraman. Different video today for everybody. John's away sick right now, so instead I've decided to put together a collection of clips from our older videos that I think everyone will enjoy. It's a bit of a showcase and director's commentary on a lot of our older videos. Uh, that some of you might not have even seen. So if not, if you find this video interesting, give it a like, go back, check out those older videos, there's some real gems in there. We've got our next engine to put on the engine test stand. It's a 302 Windsor. Hadn't run for about 12 years. It came from a 70s Mustang. Giving it a, a paint. Let's see whether it runs. Welcome to another episode. Let's see where the fuel gets in the carby. Fingers crossed that she starts. Here we go. Today we'll be reviewing my 1982 XD Falcon. Let's go around and let's have a little bit of a look around the car. I'm going to be talking about my 1976 Alex Serrana to my first car and I bought this for $6,300 back in 07. This car is a driver's car. I don't keep it in the shed and I, I do drive it. I drive it to work. You'll see it around southeastern suburbs of Melbourne. What I've done is I've installed sway bars down the bottom. It did have a front apron over here, 13 inch hot wire rims. And I will be respraying the car in the near future. It's a red 308. It's got a 286 cam. It's lumpy. It's had head work done. It still runs the early heads. It's good for about 300 horsepower. But let's go for a little bit of a squirt, hey? She definitely boogies. What's going on guys? Welcome to our, uh, our little mini series of the 318 Mopar. So let's get it on the engine test stand and figure out what we've got to do to rejuvenate it. Probably everything. Turns out this uh, 318 doesn't have any engine mounts. I'm going to undo these bolts here and I've got two bolts there, and then that would fit into the block itself. May not work. Oh no, there we go. Welcome to a very special video. Since I was a little boy, I've dreamt of this moment. It came to me in a dream. What have we got here? We've got Forza Horizon 3. It features Aussie cars. It's a ripper of a game. What the hell is this? Straight through exhaust. What could we have done? Geez, we've been bored. I tell you what, during lockdown, crazy ideas are floating around for sure. What do you see? You see our trusty 302 Windsor. We've hooked up the driving simulator to the engine. So what? Effectively, we think is going to happen is that when you press on the accelerator pedal, it's going to rev the engine. XY GDHO Phase 3. No 
know about the XT. And um, what did I find? So I found a car that I just had to have. I've got about eight cars, guys, and I'm, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I mean, some would call it an addiction. Got, got myself an icy blue XE Falcon. So let's have a bit of a squizzy. Hey, there's not much rust here, actually. Oh, check this out. Look at that. It's called me a free fucking uh, socket set. Oh, it's still coming handy. Happy about that. Hey, hey, hey. G'day, guys. We're going to try and get it started today. I'd rather than be black and sooty, you know, if it's running rich or whatever, that'd be better. Man, that's wet. So yeah, like that's running rich. Let's chuck some fresh fuel in the uh, tank. We just want to give her a crank over and then we'll be able to diagnose what's wrong with her. Nothing. So we forgot to uh, bolt up the earth strap to the motor. So maybe that's why it's not firing. You know, we'll get that on the big jobs. <laughs> She's alive! G'day bloke. Got the icy blue here. I reckon we should clean her up and see what we got. <laughs> Let's get going. back. Let's try to turn her over. Sounds like she wants to go. Clearing. Let's go all the way to the floor. Feels alright. As soon as I try to press on the accelerator, it doesn't want to go. We hit 40 kilometers an hour and the brakes work. That's what I call living, Barry. 